Hello there, welcome back uh, to my channel. So today's video is super exciting because it is an update to my Pandos eyeshadows. And oh my god, it is like we are doing a refresh. So if you're interested in seeing my progress and the eyeshadows that I will be rolling in, then just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, I'm so excited because I hit pan in all of these eyeshadows. That means we are rolling in three new eyeshadows. It's like a refresh. Oh my god, I am so excited. I knew that I hit pan in maybe one or two, but I can't believe I hit pan in all of them. So, uh, oh, my notebook. This is so exciting. I oh, I can't wait. Okay, so first shadow is it uh, comes from my Kylie bronze palette and I got the shade topaz which is this guy right here and as you can see beautiful a beautiful pan so um, it took me five additional uses to hit pan uh, on this shadows since the last update and overall I used this eyeshadow 25 times in order to hit this baby baby pan I am so excited this is the second pan in my pad in this palette I have a huge pan here because you know it's a lit setting shade so I just use it to set my eyeshadow but this these pans are freaking deep so to hit pan in another one that is an achievement so we will be rolling this one out but I'm gonna give you a swatch anyway so it is just a very light um, transition sort of shade here it is there it's a beautiful beautiful um, eyeshadow especially it's just great for I have a hair story of my life oh, somewhere on my face it's a beautiful transition shade. Love it, love it, love it, loved using it. And then I hit pan in uh, the So Jade palette and I uh, rolled in the shade Alexandrite, which is this guy right here. And as you can see, very significant pan. Uh, I don't like this eyeshadow. I don't like this freaking, is it? Is it a, a metallic or is it a satin shadow? I hate these ColourPop eyeshadows. It, they're so, so annoying because they're so flaky. They don't build up well. You can't really wet them. And oh, it was, it was a pain to use, to be honest. Uh, I was using a fluffy brush to kind of just work it into my crease. Uh, and that's the way that I was able to uh, hit pan on it. But oh my God, I need to look at my face because this hair is just driving me nuts got it <laughs> uh but it, it was just a nightmare to use i really really don't like them and there's so many of them this ruby shade is one of them uh this onyx shade is one of them this emerald shade is one of them it's just it's metallic but no it isn't it's just so freaking annoying anyway i'll give you a swatch anyway it's in theory it's a beautiful shade in freaking practice ugh, no so this is what it looks like I mean what I might do is uh, buy myself a you know like a magnetic palette and pop out the shades that I really want to keep from this palette and just declutter the rest because I'm not about that life um, anyway I'm happy that I'm done with that oh I never mentioned it took me seven times to hit pan on this because I was using a fluffy brush yeah. let's move on from that I just didn't like that shade and the next pan comes from my sleek also special palette and we rolled in the shade shade nine that's what I have it in my uh, spreadsheet and um, I did hit pan this is it so I have three pans in this palette also, which is super exciting. I was using this shade interchangeably with my uh, Kylie uh, shade. And once I hit pan in the Kylie shade, because I did that um, before I hit pan on this, uh, I started to use this as a transition shade. And yeah, just, just worked out that way. It just worked out that way. So let me just give you a swatch. It is a, a different um, shade to the Kylie one because it's uh, a lot more... Um, yellow toned you will see that there comparing to that very very yellow toned but nonetheless a beautiful transition shade so 
it took me 15 times to hit pan on this eyeshadow and I did that in a month <laughs> so that's great that is great uh, so because I hit um, my goal in all of these eyeshadows we will be rolling in three new ones so let's just uh, get on with that okay so I have my spreadsheet open let me just start a screen recording and uh, now <laughs> And it's weird because I just got an iPhone. I used to have, you know, the Samsung S10. And uh, it's a little bit hard to um, get used. You know, like, it's not hard, but, you know, it's different. Um, it's a different I OS. So, you know, I'm just trying to get used to uh, the iPhone one. But anyway, we have a 344 eligible eyeshadows uh, to hit pan on. I did receive a palette from a friend of mine I received the makeup forever artist shadows and this is um, the version one so I added that into my spreadsheet and what I'm going to do now is I am going to open up my random number generator where it's pretty random uh, 344 so from one up until 344 and we are going to prevent re-rolls and we are rolling in three eyeshadows. So let me just prepare my pen so that we can, uh, you know, shake it out. So I shook and the first shade is 196. Uh, yeah, let's check what that is. 196 comes from my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette and it is the shade Fling. This palette has not yet been in this um, in this project so I am super, super, super excited. Okay, now for the second, 222, okay, 222 comes, okay, comes from my another Huda Beauty palette, comes from the new nude palette and it is the shade Infatuated. So let's mark that and uh, the new nude palette has been in this project a couple of times so uh, that's okay. And then the third shade is, oh, oh, 300, th these are very high numbers, okay. 329. 329 comes from my Huda Beauty Naughty Nude palette. Oh my god, all Huda Beauty. That's fine. I own a lot of Huda Beauty, so but this is a the palette that she came out in November. I used it, um uh, I used it, but I am so happy that it is in this project because that gives me a chance to um use it even more. So let me grab those. I'm gonna give you a, a swatch and we'll, I'll give you their swatches and we will see the uh, color story. I am so, so excited. Okay, I have all of my palettes here. Oh, it's a Huda Beauty theme. So, so cool. Uh, but anyway, the first palette that we rolled in was the Rose Gold Remastered palette. I haven't looked, I haven't peeked, so I don't know what that shade looks like. Uh, but it's the second shade in the palette, so it is definitely a metallic, which is super exciting. Uh, we rolled in the shade Fling. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is the shade, you guys. This is what it looks like. As you can see, I had used this palette um, a bit. Oh, wrong finger. <laughs> because I still have the old color story here. So, on this hand. Uh, I love Huda Beauty eyeshadows. They're so, so good. So creamy. Okay, so this is the shade Fling. It is a beautiful, smooth, uh, metallic sort of shade. Oh, this is going to look so beautiful. And it is uh, that souffle sort of formula that she introduced in this uh, palette. So yeah, I am so, so excited. Now, as you can see, this uh, eyeshadow crumbled a little bit. So I can see that... Um, these pans are not super deep, 
but this like this formula is fairly thick so it is gonna take a while to hit pan but i'm okay with that i love huda beauty so i love huda beauty eyeshadow so there's no problem with me anyway moving on the second um eyeshadow that we rolled in comes from the new nude palette and it is called infatuated and infatuated is a glitter okay this is it this is the eyeshadow here i have two pans in this palette already um okay i will work on it i think this uh glitter will work very well with the um with the fling shade so i will try to evenly wear this down because these pans like i said are fairly shallow uh, especially in this palette they're kind of they're not that deep so yeah but we have a nice color sorry this is the uh, glitter uh, oh shit i have three pans in this palette i forgot that i was working on daydream also uh -huh, that pan was kind of hiding um okay yeah i will make that work i will make it work this is what it looks like oh, it's so nice i think these two will work so well together and then from the huda beauty new nude palette we got a the shade tantric hmm. i don't know what that shade is but we will see oh, oh another metallic so we're working with all metallics so shade tantric okay i'm gonna show you like this oh that i should have fell out guys did you see that <gasps> no and oh okay let me squish that back in <laughs> i must squish that back in because i don't want to lose that shade because it's so pretty okay i managed to squeeze that shade back in but i'm hoping it's not gonna freaking um it's the shade that popped out i'm I probably i'm going to have some slow-mo for you but this is the shade that we rolled in it's called tantric so it is a beautiful creamy gold metallic and i'm so excited oh you guys this is so pretty oh this color story so different so beautiful this is the shade uh, tantric so this is our color story we have a lot of metallics a lot to play with i think all of these three shades are going to look beautiful together um or separate whatever but i am so so excited about this you guys have no idea um uh, but yeah that is it for today's video um do i see myself hitting pan in one of those yes i think i'm gonna hit pan in the glitter because um these pans are not that deep and you do need a lot to uh, kind of build up i will try to kind of evenly work my way down but uh we will uh, see um in the rose gold this shade is a little bit more um like i said a little bit more thick so it's not going to take um as quickly as the glitter shade and from this guy um i might be able to hit pan on this but uh, i'm not going to force myself because i want to enjoy these palettes i love these palettes it's like my obsession uh, just working with huda beauty uh, or get using huda beauty palettes and also yeah i just love them um uh, but like i said that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this uh but yeah thank you very much and i will see you in the next one bye